good, good, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome. Uh, as the title of this slide suggests, the aim of this talk is to illustrate part of my PhD project. Uh, but first, I would like to introduce myself um, and share a few things about me. Uh, uh, first of all, here you can see me uh, in the Boboli Garden in Florence, where I actually live. Uh, but I was born in Rome. I graduated in History of Art. I'm a PhD student, first year. I'm a, I'm a Renaissance art fan. And uh, I'm half British and a cat lover, owner of two cats. <laughs> uh, but uh, going back to my PhD project, uh, the purpose of it is the identification of the methodologies to be adopted for the creation of a prototype of the Ligorio digital platform. Uh, a platform that will host the digital publication of 18 manuscript volumes, uh, 23 books organized according to the letter of the alphabet that form Piro Ligorio's Encyclopedia of the Ancient World. An impressive work that aim uh, to embrace every aspect of the ancient world. It is, was written between 1568-69 uh, and 1583, when Ligorio was an uh, antiquarian at the Stanza Court in Ferrara. And these volumes now are hosted in the State Archives in Turin. In Turin. Um, during the first year of my PhD, I focused on experimenting with the use of HDR to provide the most accurate transcription of the text. And following some evaluation, transcribers were selected for, for this purpose. The first step of, the phase, uh, of this phase was then creating the ground truth, ground truth materials on which to train the model. After choosing a volume significant for its content, the volume containing all the words starting with the letter R, the decision was to start working on a small set of pages that constitute the entry of Ramerna, a city in Italy, 25 pages in total. This helped define and test the description criteria and the correct wor workflow which is characterized by four steps, automatic layout analysis, correction of the segmentation, transcription, correction of the transcription. I would like to focus on the, the correction made after the automatic layout analysis for the segmentation part. Piri Ligorio's text, in fact, is characterized by a complicated structure that is different on most of the pages, vocabulary entries, architectural drawings, and inscription. Here you can see some example of how I adjusted the, segment, the segmentation. I divided the title or entries from the page numbers and main text. I have created a region for every Latin and Greek inscriptions and a region for every element that describes an image. Although it's a time consuming process, it simplifies greatly the description phase and it anticipates a work that will be useful for the creation of the digital edition. Moving on, to the next phase of the workflow, the transcription phase required the definition of the transcription criteria. Uh, the main goal was to try to remain faithful to Piero Ligorio's writing as much as possible. Some basic criteria to serve this goal was, were created, such as the normalization of the V, the v to U, except in Latin inscription, the preservation of the diacritical the, the marks and punctuation as used by the author, the normalization of small caps to capital letters uh, and tagging of uncertain words with the tag, uh, unclear tag as tagging illegible words with the three dots and the unclear tag. Uh, also the use of the angle dash instead of the iPhone to divide words uh, into syllables at the end of a line. Uh, but some, uh, some adjustments were necessary, uh, as you can see. For example, we had to change the third point and um, where the use of the capital and small caps in, uh, was not uh, distinguished, especially for some letters like the S or the P. Uh, it is uh, transcribed according to the grammatical rules of the Italian language. Uh, we added also, uh, the, the, we noticed that the, the critical marks were uh, too hard to transcribe uh, for the part in Greek, so uh, we didn't uh, use it uh, for that part. And we also created um, a Greek tag uh, to mark Greek words and inscription to be easy to find uh, the, the, the Greek words and inscription in the text. Uh, another minor modification that was done concerned the transcription of some ancient symbol using Latin inscriptions. In the slide, you can see the upper corner, some of the symbols that were added using their Unicode to the virtual keyboard in transcribers by click clicking on the edit button. The Roman Sestertius and the Roman Denarius, although visible in the keyboard, 
uh, were not correctly displayed during transcription, as you can see in the image. Uh, see lines uh, 3, 3, 3, 5, and 3, 6. You can see some example. Uh, usually, these types of symbols can be uh, read by changing the font in a PowerPoint or, or a Word document using, for example, the Junicode font or the new Athena font. Uh, but in this case, it did not work. Uh, so it was then opted to replace those symbols with others from a Unicode group that Ligorio uh, would have never used in this text. Uh, and train the model thus. Uh, in this case, I don't know why you can't see them. <laughs> I, uh, I think when you, anyway, in this case, uh, as you can see here, the font is not right, so you can't really see the, <laughs> the symbols, but the, they were chosen from the astronomical group uh, already present in transcriber virtual uh, keyboard. Since, since it is planned to work on a document in XML format at a later time, these symbols will then easily be replaced again with those actually used in the text. This issue has been notified to the transcribers team and we look forward to having the opportunity to handle the situation directly in transcribers. Uh, having corrected the transcription according to the new criteria, we continued the, uh, the, with the transcription of other pages of the volumes pages nine, uh, 1 to 19 and 45 to 77. With 77 pages transcribed, I proceed in creating the first HDR model. Here you can see the settings we used. Um, it was chosen to test both the Palaya HDR and the SITLAB HDR engine. And as you can see, the results were better for the SITLAB engine, 3.17 compared to 4.90. The first model was then used to automatically transcribe from pages 78 to 120. And to do so, the same workflow I showed before was adopted. These 120 pages were then used to create the second model, the Ligorio 012. Uh, testing both the engine, the serval was for the Palaya HDR 3.31% and for the Chitlab uh, HDR plus 2.07%. These models showed major errors in transcribing Greek inscriptions and some lines of Latin inscription. This is why a third and final model was created after transcribing from pages 121 to 200 using the Ligorio 0.2. Uh, the slide show a summary of all the models including the Ligorio 0.3. This final model, although had a, has a, C, a higher serval, uh, of 2.22, solve the inscription problem. Each methodolog methodological steps, I don't know if, how to play this video. It was a video anyway, you can uh, go to, on the website through the QR code. Uh, each methodological step is described on a website specifically created for this project. This website is an operation of methodological transparency and allows issues and results to be shared with whoever will work on a similar project, but mainly with the other member of the Ligorio Digital Project, of which this project is a part, as you can see in the credit page. Uh, the second phase of the project, oh, it plays now, sorry. <laughs> It's in Italian, I'm um, sorry for this. So hopefully we will translate it in other languages. Um, but going on, uh, the second phase of the project foresees the XML encoding of the text to highlight the complex structure of the volume and the creation of what we decided to call intelligent links capable of activating internal and external connection to enhance the complex stratigraphy of antiquarian sources that characterize Ligorio research. In conclusion, Transcribers has proven to be an effective tool to speed the transcription phase of Ligoria Encyclopedia, but we will be a valuable tool also for the phases to come. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you very much as well. And we also have a little time for questions. Anyone? Yeah. I have a Sarah. question. <laughs> Why did you decide to use uh, the dash at the end uh, of the line instead of the hyphen? Because with the hyphen, you can uh, uh, search uh, the split word between two lines. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, was, uh, for all this project, I was followed by Elisa Bastianello, which is the <laughs> digital publication manager of the Bilbe de Garziana, and uh, she helped me a lot in dealing with that. And uh, together we decided to use uh, the Angle Dash uh, to do that. But uh, yes, I didn't, uh, yes, maybe Elisa. Maybe uh, to, there was <laughs> a and critical and edition reason. The problem is that we have inward dashes. So if we don't use the angle dash that is the one presented in the expert editor at the end, um, we are bound to not know which words are uh, ethernet, um, which words are simply dashed, and we need to run some system to get what is in the end of the line. Um, and separated. There are some dashes that are at the end of the line but are not uh, items. So this is a long discussion we are having and I hope, I don't think there is a simple solution because in post-processing, um, if they are all dashes, uh, then um, Duo milia um, with uh, an athen in the middle is not easily recognizable. I cannot simply substitute them as um, if it's all dashes, um, remove them and join the words. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> At least that's my experience, but we can discuss about this. Hmm. Right. I think there was a second question here in the fourth. All right, so um, you said that uh, you had to um, do a lot of manual work for uh, the layouts and the segmentation. The, yes, the segmentation, yes. How are you planning to do that for, the, for all the books, for all collection? I, I assume that you're not going to do that manually. Yes, it, yes, it actually took more time to segmentate and transcribe and correcting the, transcri the transcription, but uh, now there is the, the, also the, the possibility to um, divide, well, that will help, for example, I also was correcting the lines as well, so it took me lo lots of time, but uh, for example, now I can, uh, I can uh, divide the text, text region and then run the layout with, with, uh, with that, and that helps me a lot with the lines as well, with the re correction of the line. For the text region, I, I, I hope to train uh, to train the, the, the layout to, to recognize all the parts alone. I, I tried, but it didn't work yet. Uh, so maybe with the, with the transcriptions team and uh, uh, the, the new developments, I will manage to do that uh, quicker. <laughs> Perfect. Then, thank you very much. I think thank you. I'm afraid this is all we have time for <laughs> because we need to move on to the next category. Uh, we'll now...